so today great set yeah, enjoyed it trailer, sun, yeah. sun was, it was blazing it was too short but it was fun yeah yeah lots of singing back as well you had a lot of fans in the crowd yeah, yeah i mean we should have played it over an hour really mm -hmm. but whatever but, but whatever yeah. it's yeah, you know you do you do whatever you can it felt like it felt like a squashed it's like you're squashed right but it's okay right yeah yeah you do do, yeah. do what you can i think the people enjoyed it and that's the bottom line you know that's ultimately that's what you're doing you're there to for the people to enjoy it yeah i enjoy it but i could have enjoyed it more but the people enjoyed it yeah so that's all that's important they, they wanted to see some downright dirty heavy metal yeah yeah, yeah. 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 No, there's a lot of love out there uh, after the show a lot of people came up to me and said yeah it's great awesome do you think stone death Brilliant. has harnessed has harnessed the monsters of rock really well the one day festival thing harnessed the memory uh, that's, uh, yeah it, it's, it's uh, a good you know, lineup it's, that's it's sure. intimate and personal it was up mm. close and personal i'll say you know the, the, so because it's small yeah but maybe they'll morph into something big, but you know, who knows? Maybe they want to start making money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's the whole plot. Yeah. 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 You guys played in Milton Keynes on Friday, didn't you, with the Crowford Arms? Yeah, it was awesome. I'm going to say, how, how would that actually compare doing a normal inside gig to doing then something like this on, on, a, on a lovely summer's afternoon? Great thing. How was it? As you, as you would say, there's more people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, ultimately it's it's I mean, the it was same sold thing. Out last night, but it was 200 people. It was a small place. Uh, it's a small place. Yeah. What, what's it, what's actually really remarkable that the UK this UK love for the band here now in the last couple of years it's just come alive. Yeah, and it, that's know, that's a, that's a phenomenon to us. It's like. We're yeah, like, still kind of pinching ourselves. Are we awake? Is this yeah. really going on? Or you know, what we, happened? We that earlier this year in the UK, we did 15 shows. Like, we did a tour yeah, there. Yeah. And we were playing small little towns and stuff. And they're all sold out. People were coming from everywhere. And it was every place. And I was going like, man, what's going on here? I, I, I was yeah, un, like we're finding a kind of like not... Look at when you go back to 2005 when we did when we were filming the movie. Yeah, right? yeah how much of that changed? We things? end up we ended up we, we ended up going into into Derby, played at Derby, and the only people that showed up was the support band, <laughs> <laughs> and they gave us they gave us a couple of vouchers for the fish and chips store as our buyout, so we got half price. So. Both us and the support band are all gathered around three orders of fish and chips, all taking pieces, right? That's my memories of that. How, how much did the film change things for you guys? Everything. Everything. It, it Absolutely brought, it brought, everything. It brought in a complete new audience from the entire world. You know, mm. whole, every, like yeah, actually, story. everything's been renewed, and uh, the old fans are a bit, are a bit pissed yeah it, it, it bothers a little bit yeah hey man oh, i knew about you all along thing you know like and now like look at you, you like it because you're the movie you know yeah but there's, there's no holds barred between you two guys mm -hmm. it was it was it was truthful you know you you two were upset with each other you know you you it was real life it was proper reality yeah you know the, it's interesting because it? you know what the guy the, the, the guy going. yeah, the, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the director he it was two years into filming and he we have a blowout, and he's he's like, I'm going. What are you smiling about? He goes, I've been waiting for two years for this moment. <laughs> I just got cool. I go, oh, thanks. Heaven. That's great. I'm thinking you're never going to use this fucking yeah, thing, yeah. and you, you're smiling. You got the fucking footage you're looking for. Great. Yeah. It was gold from heaven. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we're going what? Because because it was truthful. It it, yeah, it, yeah. it wasn't faked. A lot no, of, these reality of course things not. Are we fake. got pissed was, off. You could see and, it. And, and the thing is, because of the way it was, the approach of being the way that it's filmed, I did. We never. It, it never crossed my mind that it was going to be used, because they were filming everything anyway. So yeah. you, 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 it, 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 to me, it was like, so what? Who cares that they're filming? I'm fucking pissed off. Yeah. And, and you're seeing real. Real emotion. Real passion, emotion, wasn't it? Yeah. And the the director is it Sasha? Yeah, he's an English, yeah. he's an English guy. He's a he's an old friend. He's an old fan of the band. Yeah. yeah well, that's the thing. You're gonna yeah. and you a hundred percent trust. Yeah. That's why you're not going to see another band do that. Because mm. when you well, who's going to trust some guy with a camera? Yeah. yeah. yeah you're yeah. going to be guarded. You're going to be fucking. You're you know, not going to let that shit out. No. You go ha argue in another room or something. Not going to let it get filmed, but it's like I said, it, it's my friend filming. If I don't want to use it, I just tell him, don't use it. 
you know, and I'm like, he'll, he won't use it if I don't yeah, want him to. Yeah. Right at the beginning but, of, the, of the whole filming, when he approached us, he looked at me and said, listen, man, I'm not going to make any shit here. I don't want to make it look fucking stupid. It's all going to be real, and it's going to be honest. That's what he said to me, right? Unbelievable. Yeah, and don't, don't worry wanna, about it. Let me film you know, anything, you, anything, yeah, anything you get upset with or you really, really, really don't want, I won't do it. You can trust me. Trust me 100%. And it's it's weird because during the, um, of course, during the editing, I see the fight come up and I'm like, ooh, la la. I'm going, ooh, ooh. And, I, and then I see it in context. I saw it in context to how it sits and what it, and I, then I understood how significant it was and how important. Because when you show a breakdown in a relationship in, in, a, in a moment like that, it actually shows, it demonstrates the depth and reality of what it really is, which makes it 10 times more powerful than something that you're never going to get that otherwise, especially in a, in a, in a, in a hostile yeah. in a hostile thing because it's it's really thick and real yeah the the significance was was over the top the the uh, what it did what it did for the movie showed the, the 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 intensity and friendship and depth of our friendship is actually what it really demonstrated more than more than more about our of our love for each other rather than our fucking how yeah, I, yeah. how pissed off yeah we were. exactly yeah. exactly which is ultimately that's what needed to be shown yeah and would of you course consider doing another one though would you consider doing a, a second one to show everybody what's happening well the thing yeah, is well, the, the, there's 15 they, minutes of it let's just put it there's 15 minutes that they filmed years ago uh -huh. and it just we haven't finished it okay. that's the reality uh -huh. you know? and, and and it will at, at some point i wish you would finish it because there's a lot a lot is happening but uh, but ulti ultimately we've ultimately what what uh, what is probably going to happen and what, as morbid as it might sound it needs to be the closing chapter yeah right. okay. if they're going to show it it's going to be the closing chapter in other words when one of us dies mm. so speaking of that of course ultimately that's <laughs> and it's when it's yeah. when, it, <laughs> when it's over when one of us is playing at the other one's funeral yeah you know I mean? and of course I mean, speaking about that but chris of course who produced uh, quite a few of your albums yeah. he, he's he's passed away since yeah. that hasn't yeah. he uh, how, yeah, much, how, how much of an influence was chris on 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 the band well you yeah, know uh, was he an influence on us? Musically, he really wasn't much of an influence. Mm. Yeah, no, and, and and he was a hard sale. Yeah, I mean, to be we're, completely honest, we're, we're it was about it was about making money, specifically yeah. and only about make. There was no, there was no. Um, he didn't come looking for us. We came looking for him, and the whole thing was, "What do you? What do you? What are we bringing to the table?" Right. And when the negotiations to actually do that, they showed some of the footage, and you hear him talking about the money. You hear him talking about the money, not me. Him talking yeah. about the money, and you kind of get the drift of what it was. But the, the his manager was so like, so what, he's doing a movie, it's never going to go anywhere. They, and they, it, they had no belief in it. They had no belief in it, and, it, and was trying to, you you got to pay us everything, otherwise we're not going to, we're not going to become part of this. And yeah. what it ended up at the end of the day was everything for him. The success of that the, the movie, of that movie in, did, ass, as, like as much, did, did as much for his career as it did for Anvil. And and for the for the director himself. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was a feather in our cap for all for everybody involved. But the last guy to convince that it was going to be was that was that manager and CT. <laughs> and the kind of the kind of negotiation and where that went and the kind of expense was pretty unfair. Yeah. yeah. Like and ultimately, yeah, ulti yeah, ultimately, did. that's why it didn't continue after the movie. Yeah. Uh, with, yeah. with him. Yeah. With him. Yeah, you took advantage of, of, of a lot of stuff. It was, it, whatever. It was, so, I mean, you know, it was no hard feelings. It's not about hard feelings. It's about um, we ended up in a better place and we went to better places to continue. That's all. Yeah. Why 
why go there? You go better places. And, you know, the management we got involved with and the people got involved with, they said, you could do better and we're going to make sure you do. Yeah. Yeah, we, we never really felt, and he, when, he, we never really felt with the This Is 13 record, he really brought, brought it, Chris, the full Chris Tangerini's. Yeah. Uh, big time production, the whole deal with it. it, it were, the record didn't have that. We, we, were, we were expecting that. It just didn't break. Yeah. Just going back to Sasha, how much are you in touch with Sasha? Do you keep in contact regularly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, so oh, 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 constantly. Last week. Really? Wow. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to be, I'm going family. down to, he just uh, finished, he just finished a movie for HBO um, about Hervé Villagers. Okay. The, you know, the, uh, the, the tattoo, the, tattoo, the dwarf. Okay. The plane, the plane, the plane, the plane. Yeah. that guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But previous to, to, to all that, he, had, he was a journalist and he had gone, he was asked to go do some interviews and one of them was with Hervé. And what ended up happening is Hervé pulled the knife on him and said, you're not going anywhere, I'm gonna tell you my life story. <laughs> right? Well, it better make a half an hour. <laughs> yeah, right, and this was no half an hour. It turned, yeah, into, into, two, it turned into like wow. mega, mega shit. Um, like a whole week. Yeah. Oh. It, it, <laughs> so to be held at Sasha yeah. got back from the the, the 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 magazine had sent him to L.A. and he ended up okay when he came. By the time he came back and came into the office, the guy the guy calls him into the office. Okay, what's going on? Did you get the two interviews? And he says, I only ended up getting one, and it's with Hervé. And he goes, How, Didn't you hear? Hervé just killed himself. Oh. So it's like. He got the last, the, the whole thing was, thing, yeah. he got the last, thing, got the yeah. last moments of this guy's life. Basically, uh, as soon as Sasha finished interviewing him, he went back to, Hervé went back to his apartment and offed himself. Wow. So, yeah. no wonder he was so desperate to part of the story. promise yeah. that yeah. Sasha had wow. made, some of, the, some, of, some of the promises that he made to Hervé is, I'm gonna tell the world about your story. So when I first hooked up with Sasha, that's he had been writing the screenplay and everything for for the movie about Hervé, and then of course I interrupted, <laughs> and he ended up doing Anvil first. So of course the Anvil thing was extraordinarily su uh, 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 successful, and he now he went and finished the Hervé movie. So it's going to be opening at the Paramount Theater in Los Angeles, and I'm going down for the opening, awesome. which would be really, awesome. really cool. Wow. Very that's that's I've unbelievable. Got, I've got that. a very silly question for you. We were just talking before you guys arrived as to whether you're the only metal band in history to write a song about Satnav. About. Sat now, the direction of the box. Pitch in a box. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. satellite yeah. navigation. Yeah, we're starting to realize they think we were. Well, I think somebody would have done it at some point. It's just. <laughs> um, thing is that uh, it's interesting. Everybody thought it was. Um, Maybe we can relate to the lyrics. Yeah, everybody immediately <laughs> went, oh, that's a, it's sexist. <laughs> Not sexy. It's all for being sexy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but, uh, yeah, but it's interesting because I got the title from my wife. Oh, really? It, was, I, it wasn't something I thought of. I got it from a woman. The woman said it. It wasn't. It, so it, it certainly isn't sexist. It's what she described as the voice in her phone telling us where, how to get her way around Los Angeles. Which, it's the, going, bitch the, the, the bitch in the box says, make a left turn. I go, what did you say? She goes, the bitch in the box. I go, that is fucking great, man. I got to write a song called that. I can't fucking believe it. I've never heard it. What a fucking great title. And th that's how that came to be. Oh From nowhere comes the title of a, of a track. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, you know, sometimes you just, what? Yeah, yeah. I got to use that. You just, you have no choice. It's like, you hear it, you got it. it there's no, no, 
Where do you get? What else would it be? You know, what else could that be? <laughs> How you guys, the band Chris? I think Lee's played on the last two albums now. Yeah. What's Chris brought to the band? And is it a band? A full band now? Bass. Yeah. It's, <laughs> what is it? Bass. <laughs> you guys have a bass player? <laughs> um, it's interesting because you know, everybody figures. You know, they they talk about, you know, Rob and I as being the center and foremost aspect but you know you need you need a balance you need a whole band and you know they, they're going to go oh you should get that second guitar you know what's more important than a second guitar a second voice okay. it's way more important than any second guitar is ever going to be and in fact it's uh, to me we haven't had that second voice since the, early, uh, the, the early, earliest the earliest, uh, earliest albums so in my opinion we didn't have a complete band until until we got a second voice and what i mean by that that second voice yes the other bass players sang but they did couldn't sing right i know that sounds like it's it's like there's lots of drummers well, that own there's a lot of guys that own drum sets right <laughs> But only a few of them are drummers, yeah. right? and it's the same way. Lots of guys, lots of guys sing, but there very few are singers, and and that's what I mean. Chris is a singer, and it makes a huge difference. It's it's not about being the lead vocalist. It's about being the proper second voice, something that fits right underneath, that meshes perfectly and makes. It sounds like there's three people singing. It might be that th there's the first voice, second voice, and the, the third voice is what it sounds like together. Right. You know, the Mumbas and the Papas always talked about it. They had a, 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 a fifth voice, which was, was the sound of all of them yep. together. Yeah. 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 And it's much the same as when Chris and I sing, there's a third voice. But it's the, the third voice is the sound of the two of us singing together. And Chris, and do you remember, your, do you remember really your first important. gig with the guys? Of course. Yeah, yeah, just I just celebrated my uh, anniversary. fourth anniversary at Headbangers Open Air, oh, wow. which is the uh, which is which is uh, I played that quite uh, remarkable in, because uh, the, at the same time that we're celebrating, Chris is being in the band for four years. It's the singer from Riots anniversary too same same, same gig same wow. day wow. yep really? yeah oh. yeah <laughs> singer from right started the same day i did that was it that was, was both their first gig, gig and they're both talking to each other <laughs> <laughs> that's our first gig <laughs> that's how we know that it's like wow pretty remarkable are you guys staying in the uk for much longer we have one more show tomorrow Ooh, in really? wales okay and then uh we're gonna hang out monday go home tuesday so when we yeah, this was just a, this uh, 2020. We're, we're gonna go make a new album. Oh, that's what we're gonna do after this. We're gonna write, start writing. Uh -huh. Next uh, next September, we're gonna record it. That's already planned. We got a whole bunch of. We're gonna do all festivals next summer. Cool. Yeah, like yeah. in Europe, and, the Europe thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, then and then we're gonna end we're, because we're gonna end up and being in Europe, we're just gonna stay and go to our studio and that's it. And another three word title album. Absolutely. Oh, of course, oh, it's, it's tradition. You know, I, I, I got a list here of a thousand possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> I have lost count. Stone death. <laughs> Do a competition you, you, if you've got that many. Let your fans choose. Yeah, I know, yeah, that's good. Cool. That's a guy should have been There's so many. You know? Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> that's still my favourite. Yeah. The anvil is going to be a big piece of cheese. Boaty look boat, boat face, yeah. you know, you'll have yeah, something I, I, like I kinda, that. I kind of like loud and low Okay. Mm. Works. <laughs> yeah, like I, 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 we're kind of like that, but anyways, yeah, there's lots of, we'll, we'll figure it out. Hey, well, yeah, I mean, we always figure it out. Brilliant. We'll see you in 2020 yeah. then. Thank you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope that was okay. Thank you very much. Another question. Another question. Yes, another question. Sure. Another question. With this being the very first Stone Death Festival, do you think the staff and crew have done an absolutely wonderful job considering they haven't done this before? Yes. I think the people here today have been absolutely wonderful on every level. Every level. Helpful, polite, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Accommodating. None of them have ever worked in the music industry before, before today. Yeah. No. So it's Absolute novices, them, yeah. Uh, if they do it again next year, is they should have two drum kits. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, 
switch over could quicker. be good. Oh, quicker yeah. switch over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quicker yeah. switch over. Yeah. Maybe with a rolling yeah. riser or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah because we would have been sure. set up a lot quicker, you know. Yeah. 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 Should have got two more songs in then, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah, it's like, wow, you know. But anyways, but yeah, everybody's been great here. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. We'll have a safe trip back. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your time, guys. No problem.